Hi, I am Nisha. I am going to discuss with you the field practice component of MA education curriculum being offered at Azim Premji University, Bangalore. All of us know that to have a good understanding about education requires theoretical understanding as well as a good grasp about the field realities, field context and the field practice. With this perspective in mind, we have devoted 17 weeks to the field practice component. The 17 weeks are not at a stretch. They are divided into three sub parts. So you have FP1 that is field practice 1 for two weeks duration, then FP2 for three weeks duration and FP3 which is longer for 12 weeks duration. In the first FP1, uh, it is in the mid of first semester and you will be placed in any of the field locations. You will get an opportunity to observe teachers work, interact with teachers, children, community members and also interact with the educational functionaries like block education officers or cluster resource persons depending upon their availability and so on. So this is the phase wherein you will observe you will try to make a connection with what you have discussed in the MA classrooms to the ground realities. You will try to find how the theoretical knowledge is being um, uh, represented in the practice of the teachers, in the interactions with the teachers, principals, students and so on. The second field practice component is at the end of semester 2 and it is for 3 weeks. During these 3 weeks, you will be placed in any uh, organization which is working in the field of education. During this time, you will uh, observe, you will study how an educational intervention is conceptualized and executed. What are the uh, steps in planning? How do people from different organizations uh, collaborate with each other? How do people dialogue around the issues which may be difficult? How do people respond to the needs of the field? How do they collectively try to solve the problems? And so on. And then the third practice component is at the end of uh, semester 3, during which you will yourself get involved in active uh, participation in the teacher training workshops or in developing content for teacher capacity development and you yourself will get an opportunity to teach, to reflect on your own practice, develop curricular material, try out and see what works, what doesn't work, why is it so and so on. Thus, you see that there are these three components to the field practice. In the first component, you are observing, you are trying to reflect. In the second uh, field component, you are into an intervention in which again you are observing, studying and uh, there may be possibilities of organizations involving you into different work. Maybe it could be core work or it could be peripheral work like writing reports and so on. In the third, you are actively engaging with the uh, field practice and you are reflecting on your own experiences as a practitioner, right? So this is how the field practice at the university is planned. Thank you.